The Dominance Game, Understanding Power Dynamics in Human Interactions In human interactions, a subtle yet pervasive phenomenon often lurks beneath the surface. The Dominance Game From the boardroom to the playground, from politics to personal relationships. The quest for dominance shapes our social landscape in profound ways. But what exactly is the dominance game, and how does it manifest in our everyday lives? At its core, the dominance game revolves around the assertion and maintenance of power dynamics within social hierarchies. It is a complex interplay of behaviors, strategies, and psychological mechanisms through which individuals seek to establish their authority, influence, or superiority over others. While the term, game, may imply a sense of playfulness, the stakes can be remarkably high. Influencing everything from career advancement to social standing and personal relationships. One of the fundamental aspects of the dominance game is the display of dominance cues. These can take various forms, including assertive body language, vocal tone, facial expressions, and even attire. Whether consciously or unconsciously, individuals often engage in behaviors aimed at signaling their dominance to others. From the confident stride of a CEO to the subtle posturing of a peacock displaying its feathers. These cues serve to assert one's status and intimidate potential challengers. However, dominance is not solely about outward displays of power. It also encompasses the ability to control resources. Whether tangible, such as wealth or possessions, or intangible, such as knowledge or social connections. In many social contexts, those who possess greater resources wield disproportionate influence, further reinforcing their dominance within the group. The dominance game also thrives on social hierarchies, which provide a framework for the distribution of power and status. Whether based on wealth, social class, gender, race, or other factors, these hierarchies shape our perceptions of ourselves and others, influencing our behavior accordingly. Those at the top of the hierarchy often enjoy privileges and opportunities denied to those lower down, creating a dynamic where competition for dominance is fierce. Yet, the dominance game is not purely a zero-sum contest. While some individuals may seek to dominate others at all costs, cooperation and collaboration also play crucial roles in human societies. In many cases, individuals may voluntarily relinquish some degree of power or authority in exchange for mutual benefits or societal harmony. This delicate balance between competition and cooperation lies at the heart of social dynamics, shaping the evolution of human societies over millennia. Moreover, the dominance game is not solely a product of individual psychology but is deeply rooted in evolutionary history. Throughout our evolutionary past, Dominance hierarchies emerged as adaptive mechanisms for organizing social groups and allocating resources. Those who were able to assert their dominance were more likely to secure mates, access to food and shelter, and protection from predators, thus enhancing their chances of survival and reproduction. In contemporary society, the dominance game takes on new forms, reflecting the complexities of modern life. From corporate boardrooms to online social networks, the quest for dominance permeates virtually every aspect of human interaction. However, as our understanding of human behavior continues to evolve, so too does our awareness of the underlying dynamics of dominance and power. Ultimately, the dominance game is a reflection of the fundamental human drive for status, recognition, and influence. While it can manifest in both constructive and destructive ways, its omnipresence underscores the importance of understanding and navigating power dynamics in our personal and professional lives. By recognizing the subtle cues and strategies at play, we can better navigate the complexities of social interaction and strive to create more equitable and harmonious relationships and communities. Here are some examples of both constructive and destructive manifestations of the dominance game. Constructive Manifestations 1. Leadership in Teams Within a team setting, constructive dominance may manifest as effective leadership. A leader who utilizes their influence to empower team members, facilitate collaboration, and achieve common goals demonstrate constructive dominance. They assert their authority not for personal gain but to drive positive outcomes for the group as a whole. 2. Mentorship and Guidance 
In mentorship relationships, individuals with more experience or expertise may assert their dominance constructively by guiding and supporting their mentees, by sharing knowledge, providing feedback, and offering encouragement. They help others develop their skills and achieve their potential. 3. Advocacy for Social Justice Constructive dominance can also be seen in advocacy efforts aimed at challenging existing power structures and promoting social justice. Individuals who use their influence to amplify marginalized voices, advocate for equality, and push for systemic change demonstrate a form of dominance that seeks to empower others and create a more equitable society. 4. Negotiation and Conflict Resolution In negotiations and conflict resolution processes, Constructive dominance involves assertively advocating for one's interests while also seeking mutually beneficial solutions. By engaging in respectful dialogue, active listening, and compromise, individuals can assert their influence in a way that fosters cooperation and preserves relationships. Destructive manifestations. 1. Bullying and intimidation. One of the most obvious examples of destructive dominance is bullying behavior where individuals use their power or status to intimidate, manipulate, or harm others. This can occur in various settings, including schools, workplaces, and online communities, and can have serious psychological and emotional consequences for the victims. 2. Authoritarian leadership. In some cases, individuals may assert their dominance destructively by adopting authoritarian leadership styles. This can involve micromanagement, coercion, and suppression of dissent, leading to a stifling of creativity, innovation, and individual autonomy within organizations. 3. Social exclusion and discrimination. Destructive dominance can also manifest through social exclusion and discrimination based on factors such as race, gender, ethnicity, or socioeconomic status. Those who wield power within a social group may use it to marginalize or ostracize individuals who do not conform to certain norms or standards, perpetuating inequality and injustice. 4. Abuse of power. Finally, the abuse of power represents a particularly harmful manifestation of destructive dominance. This can take many forms, including corruption, exploitation, and manipulation for personal gain. When individuals prioritize their interests over the well-being of others and exploit their position of authority, the result can be profound harm to individuals and society as a whole. In summary, while dominance is a natural aspect of human social behavior, its manifestations can vary widely in their impact and ethical implications. By recognizing the difference between constructive and destructive dominance, Individuals and communities can work towards fostering healthy, equitable relationships and environments. Here are more concrete examples of the dominance game in action across various settings. 1. Workplace Dynamics Office Politics In a corporate environment, employees may engage in subtle power plays to gain favor with superiors, secure promotions, or undermine colleagues. This could involve strategic networking, spreading rumors, or taking credit for others' work. Meetings and decision-making. During meetings, individuals may vie for dominance by interrupting others, speaking over colleagues, or using assertive body language to assert their authority and influence the direction of discussions and decisions. 2. Social settings. Social cliques. Within social groups, individuals may assert dominance by establishing exclusive cliques and controlling access to social activities or gatherings. Those who hold sway within the group may dictate social norms and enforce conformity among members. Dating and relationships. In the realm of dating and relationships, individuals may engage in behaviors aimed at asserting dominance over their partners, such as jealousy, possessiveness, or emotional manipulation. Power struggles may arise as each partner seeks to assert their preferences and needs within the relationship. If you found value so far in this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. 3. Educational Environments Classroom Dynamics In a classroom setting, students may compete for dominance by answering questions first 
challenging the teacher's authority, or engaging in disruptive behavior to assert their presence and influence over their peers. Group Projects In group projects, dominance dynamics can play out as certain members attempt to take control of the group's direction, allocate tasks, and receive credit for the project's success. Conflict may arise as different members vie for leadership roles and influence. 4. Online Interactions Social Media on social media platforms, individuals may seek dominance by amassing followers, garnering likes and shares, and positioning themselves as influencers within their respective communities. This can lead to competition for attention and validation, as individuals vie for visibility and influence. Online Gaming In online gaming communities, players may assert dominance through competitive gameplay, trash talk, and displays of skill or prowess. Those who excel within the game may wield influence over others and establish hierarchies based on gaming performance. 5. Family Dynamics Sibling Rivalry Within families, siblings may engage in dominance games to compete for parental attention, resources, or affection. This could involve sibling rivalry, teasing, or even physical aggression as each child seeks to establish their place within the family hierarchy. Parent-child power struggles. Parents and children may also engage in power struggles as each seeks to assert their authority and autonomy within the family unit. Negotiations over rules, responsibilities, and privileges can become battlegrounds for dominance and control. These examples illustrate how the dominance game permeates various aspects of human interaction, shaping our behaviors, relationships, and social structures in diverse ways by recognizing these dynamics in our own lives. We can better understand the complexities of human behavior and navigate social interactions more effectively. Exploring the potential consequences of the dominance game sheds light on its negative effects, both on individuals and society as a whole. Unchecked power dynamics can lead to a range of harmful outcomes, exacerbating inequality, undermining trust, and perpetuating social injustice. Here's a closer look at some of these consequences. 1. Erosion of trust and cooperation. In environments where dominance is wielded destructively, such as workplaces rife with office politics or social circles marked by cliques and exclusion, trust and cooperation suffer. Individuals become wary of others' motives, leading to a breakdown in teamwork and collaboration. This lack of cohesion stifles innovation, hampers productivity, and undermines the achievement of shared goals. 2. Psychological harm and stress. The dominance game can take a toll on individuals' mental and emotional well-being. Constantly navigating power dynamics, whether at work, school, or in personal relationships, can create a pervasive sense of stress, anxiety, and insecurity. Those who find themselves on the losing end of power struggles may experience feelings of inadequacy, isolation, and resentment, contributing to mental health issues such as depression and low self-esteem. 3. Reinforcement of inequality. Unchecked dominance perpetuates existing inequalities by consolidating power and privilege in the hands of a select few. In environments where certain individuals or groups wield disproportionate influence, Opportunities for advancement and success become increasingly limited for those outside the dominant circle. This reinforces systemic inequalities based on factors such as race, gender, socioeconomic status, and social connections, perpetuating cycles of disadvantage and marginalization. 4. Undermining democracy and social cohesion. In political contexts, the dominance game can undermine democratic principles and erode social cohesion. When those in positions of power prioritize their own interests over the common good, democratic institutions are weakened, and public trust in government declines. This can lead to disillusionment, apathy, and political polarization. As citizens feel marginalized and disenfranchised by entrenched power structures. 5. Escalation of conflict and violence. In its most extreme forms, the dominance game can escalate into conflict and violence, both on an individual and societal level. Power struggles between individuals or groups may escalate into verbal or physical confrontations, perpetuating cycles of aggression and retaliation. In the broader context of society, 
Unchecked power dynamics can fuel social unrest, civil unrest, and even armed conflict, leading to widespread suffering and loss of life. 6. Stifling of innovation and creativity. In environments characterized by rigid hierarchies and authoritarian leadership, the dominance game stifles innovation and creativity. Individuals may feel reluctant to voice dissenting opinions or propose new ideas for fear of reprisal or marginalization. This stifling of diversity of thought and expression hampers progress and inhibits the emergence of innovative solutions to complex problems. Recognizing the harm caused by the dominance game underscores the importance of promoting equity, transparency, and accountability in all aspects of human interaction, from the workplace to the political arena. Only by challenging entrenched power structures and fostering environments of mutual respect and cooperation can we create a more just, equitable, and sustainable society for all. Navigating the dominance game in a constructive and ethical manner requires a combination of self-awareness, empathy, and strategic communication. Here are some practical strategies for individuals to navigate power dynamics in various settings. 1. Cultivate self-awareness. Recognize your triggers. Identify situations or behaviors that trigger feelings of defensiveness, insecurity, or aggression. Understanding your own emotional responses can help you respond more effectively in challenging situations. Reflect on your intentions, before engaging in interactions where power dynamics are at play, reflect on your intentions and goals. Are you seeking to assert dominance for personal gain, or are you genuinely interested in fostering collaboration and mutual respect? 2. Develop empathetic communication. Active listening. Practice active listening by giving your full attention to others, validating their perspectives, and seeking to understand their concerns and motivations. This demonstrates respect and empathy, laying the groundwork for constructive dialogue and collaboration. Perspective taking. Put yourself in the shoes of others to gain insight into their experiences and motivations. Empathizing with their perspectives can help diffuse tensions and build trust, even in situations of conflict or competition. 3. Assertive communication. Use I statements when expressing your own needs, opinions, or boundaries. Use I statements to assert yourself assertively without resorting to aggression or defensiveness. For example, say, I feel uncomfortable with this approach, rather than, you're wrong. Set clear boundaries. Establish and communicate clear boundaries regarding acceptable behavior and treatment. Be assertive in asserting your boundaries while also respecting the boundaries of others. 4. Foster collaboration and cooperation. Build coalitions. Rather than engaging in zero-sum competition, seek opportunities to collaborate and build alliances with others. By pooling resources and expertise, you can achieve common goals more effectively while also strengthening your collective influence. Share credit and recognition. Acknowledge the contributions of others and share credit for collective achievements. Celebrating the successes of your team or community fosters a sense of camaraderie and mutual respect, strengthening relationships and morale. 5. Lead by example. Lead with integrity. Lead by example by demonstrating integrity, transparency, and ethical behavior in all your interactions. Uphold your values and principles even when faced with pressure to compromise or cut corners. Empower others. Use your influence to empower others and amplify their voices, particularly those who are marginalized or underrepresented. Actively support and mentor colleagues, peers, or community members to help them realize their full potential. 6. Continuous learning and growth. Seek feedback. Solicit feedback from trusted peers, mentors, or supervisors to gain insight into how your behavior is perceived by others. Use constructive feedback as an opportunity for self-reflection and growth. Learn from mistakes. Be willing to acknowledge and learn from mistakes or missteps. Cultivate a growth mindset that embraces challenges and sees setbacks as opportunities for learning and improvement. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Please feel free to comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. 
Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.